I'm Rosemarie Nichols McGee from Nichols Garden Nursery in Albany, Oregon, and today we're going to talk about how to make skordaya, the quintessential Greek garlic sauce that has been made for hundreds, probably thousands of years. So the ingredients are very simple. It's that Mediterranean method of bringing together a few basic ingredients and creating something with a sublime flavor. So we use some white bread and I have torn this into little pieces in here and made uh, breadcrumbs and then soaked them in water and then squeezed out as much moisture as I could. The garlic, the garlic is really large this year. This is a Chesnick variety and the cloves are big. This cookbook, my, my cookbook says Four, uh, six cloves and I'm only going to use four because let me just show you garlic cloves can vary a great deal and you will commonly see recipes saying so many cloves and uh, you have to kind of use your own taste as the guide and if you're a little scared of garlic use two and then maybe three and just add it in. Vinegar, white vinegar, it's wine vinegar olive oil and salt. Really the basics. I'm going to make this batch in the woody that my grandmother stepped off the train here in Albany with it tucked under her arms. She would brought it from Greece so that she could make just the right kind of skordaya for my father. And we all treasure this. So let me start by putting some salt in here and about half a teaspoon and I think I can I can hit that without measuring it too much and that goes into the bottom and then my four cloves go in and we stick this back here and we start crushing look our garlic is all pulverized now the salt and the pestle have brought out the juices the oils uh, from the garlic and it, we have a really smooth concoction in here. Now we're ready for the bread. And we'll just put this in here. And I think also a little olive oil in here now. So at this point we have salt, we have garlic, fresh garlic, olive oil. Now we add our last ingredient, the white wine vinegar. And we mix this together. We do it rather carefully so we don't splash anything, but it will all come together as a smooth sauce. And I do want to stress that when it's garlic season and you're getting fresh garlic in, you shouldn't miss the opportunity to make it from the very freshest cloves. It's good any time of the year, don't get me wrong, but fresh is best. Now, you can see from this that the flavors and the ingredients are all melded together nicely so that you have a paste or a sauce. If you were to want this to be liquid, you could add a little water. And yesterday, we made this with a stick blender, which, you know, is a, this is probably the most practical for most uh, people who are wanting to make this, and you just, you know, stick that in and it, it does the job. And it came out, it was just a little too liquid. So I used about a tablespoon of this um, instant clear gel that we sell. And it's a non-GMO product, but a tablespoon of that in here was a tasteless accompaniment to it that brought it to a nice texture. So that is an option. You don't always need it, but it's nice to have that to rely on. So let's serve a dish with this. I haven't talked to you about how to use this. My favorite ways foods with this are beets, green beans, but fish. Fish above all is wonderful with skordaya and it becomes you know sort of a real summer food. I would uh, if the, the fish is fried you know I'd have some wine with it 
but if you're using tomatoes and onions and cooking it that way I'd go for a nice red wine with it and we'll show you what this looks like in a few minutes. So, now we have prepared a little hors d'oeuvre or appetizer with beets, scotaria, and green beans. The beets are not pickled beets. You can get canned ones, commercial, whatever you want, but uh, they, there's enough uh, vinegary bite in the sauce that it doesn't need to be pickled. And these little things are just as handy as can be if you can find them somewhere. And they can even be washed and used over once or twice. And I should, before we leave, mention that one of the most common ways to enjoy scordaglia is to simply dip it in to the sauce and eat that. And um, that's a good beginning for a festive meal. So thank you, and I hope that you all will give this a try. I'm Rosemary Nichols McGee from Nichols Garden Nursery in Albany, Oregon. Our website is www.nicholsgardennursery.com and we uh, grow and sell a numerous varieties of garlic.